Okay. Lord God, so here we go. Let's see what it says. It says 167.4. So I'm here at the gym. I'm going to do 30 minutes of cardio. I'm going to do 30 minutes of weight lifting, which is what, an hour, right? And um, try to get my body in shape here. I've been on and off trying to do weight lifting. It's like my body, it's just like my mind don't want to do it. I do it for a week, stop it for a week. Do it for a week, stop it for a week. So I am going to attempt for the fourth time to go ahead and do this weight training and stick with it. I gotta put it in my mind that I am going to do this and that I am going to continue doing this. Oh my goodness. It's like I never left the gym. It feels so good to be back. So I just did 30 minutes of cardio and I am now going to do 30 minutes of weight training. Today is the day that I'll be starting and I'm gonna finish. So again, I'm giving myself until June to be able to get myself into that pink bikini that I want. Yeah, I'm claiming it pink. Now that I am done with the gym, I'm done picking up the children from school, I've decided to make me some kale chips. The other day I went to Whole Foods and I bought kale chips. Those things were about $8.00. I dang near freaked out. I said I would never buy another container of kale chips from Whole Foods again. I will make my own. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. I bought me a dehydrator, handy dog dehydrator. I bought that brand new, still in the box. There's the box right there from this site called OfferUp. OfferUp is just like Craigslist. You have to go meet the person, pick up the item. But anyway, I bought it for 10 freaking dollars. Well, I looked through on Pinterest and I found a recipe. I made some the other day, tore those to pieces. Me, my husband, my children, we all ate them. Now I'm gonna make some and I'm gonna show you guys how I go about making them. And when you get a chance, go ahead and make them. Leave me a comment below, let me know how you like them. So these are the items that you're gonna need. Garlic, lemon juice, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, nutritional yeast, Himalaya salt, Soaked cashews, I soaked these overnight, and you're gonna need some red peppers. Now, you can use a red bell pepper. These are red grilling peppers. Unfortunately, some of them are a little bruised. I'm just gonna cut the bruise off, and they're gonna be good as new. and put all of the ingredients in. We mix, 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 and we blend and blend until it becomes a paste. Are the fries in there? Yes, the fries are in there. Right now, I'm making my girls some baked fries. Baked fries take a little bit longer than deep fried fries, so they have to wait. So this is why she down here pestering me. Right? a little choppy so I'm gonna put a little bit of vegetable broth in here just to give it a little bit of a cream texture I'm just gonna transfer my ingredients into my small food processor that I found I'm dumpster diving a, a while back but I'm gonna use that instead and hopefully I can get the creamy texture I just do not feel like dealing with this Vitamix. It just takes forever for things to like really get to a smooth consistency. I wanted to show you guys a quick snack that I'm gonna give my husband. He requested to have tomatoes and cucumbers with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper on it. But just so I can give you guys a general idea as to what a good healthy snack is. Something like this at night instead of chips is a really, really good alternative. He's going to kill me once he finds out that I'm eating his food. But I don't help it. It's so good. Whatever snack craving you're craving, it always curves the appetite. <laughs> I 
I have my favorite dressing. Hmm, maybe I should try this on those kale chips. <laughs> these dehydrate for about 10 hours right now the time is 8 43 so they should be ready tomorrow by the time i wake up good morning guys as you can see it is 9 01 a.m i am just getting up 12 hours later and let's see how these kale chips are doing let's see there they go Look at them. So here is one of the vegan cheese ones here. As you can see, the cheese is pretty crusted over. And this is one of the newer flavors that I made. I am going to taste this one today. That's good. That is really good. A little too salty, but overall really good. Now let me try the vegan cheese one. Look at that cheese. Cheese that. They nice and crunchy. Mm -mm. This is the bomb. The bomb. Yeah. Yep. You gotta try it, guys. <laughs> Ha 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 